Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew on Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN and I've been following the Starch Solution. The Starch Solution is a program developed by Dr. John McDougall. It is a starch-centered diet where we focus on high-carb, low-fat, whole food, plant-based foods. If you would like more information on the Starch Solution, I will leave a link to Dr. John McDougall's book, The Starch Solution, in the description box below. So on my channel, you will find whole food, plant-based recipes that are quick and easy, not a lot of ingredients. I'm a busy RN, I work full time, so my recipes have to be quick, easy, and delicious. If that sounds like something you're interested in, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every Tuesday and Saturday. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Chew on Vegan. And if you feel like you need a little bit more support, I have started a Facebook group. This is a group of like-minded people following the Start Solution, Whole Food Plant Based. We share our recipes, our struggles, our wins, just a place to get to know each other and have a community and get support and inspiration. So if you'd like to join, I will leave a link in the description box below. Today is going to be a kind of a mini what I eat in a day and also uh, I want to show you some food prep that I do for the week. So with that being said, let's get on with what I eat in a day. A lot of my recipes are motivated by what is going bad in my refrigerator. What do I need to use up? So this morning, I'm feeling like some pancakes. I've got a banana that's really ripe. I've got some blueberries that are kind of on their way out. So I'm just going to make some really quick uh, uh, blueberry pancakes. These are uh, a low fat version of my regular pancakes and because I'm trying to eat very low fat right now. As we've talked about in previous videos, I overindulged a little bit over the holidays, so I kinda wanna get back on track with really focusing on low fat. So in here, I have two cups of oats, and I just put some oats in there and ground them up in my Vitamix. And now I'm just gonna add all the other ingredients, and this is so quick and easy. So we're just gonna do a banana, and it just all goes in here. I have a flax egg, which I made earlier, so it's nice and gelatinous. And then I add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and about a half a teaspoon of vanilla powder. I've been using vanilla powder lately and I really like it. And then I'm going to add about a cup and a quarter or a cup and a half of just plain water. Okay, I'm going to go blend these up and then we're going to add our blueberries and cook them up. So as you can see, I have these blueberries. Got these at Trader Joe's. But, you know, some of them are kind of shrivelly and but they're so good. So I'm going to throw these just right in the batter. I'm not going to of course mix them up. I'll just use a spoon. But I'm just going to throw a handful of these in here. Just as many as you would like. I've got my pan heating up here. I don't put any oil in my pan because this is a really good nonstick. And you can see this batter is pretty thick and I, that's, I like it that way. So if you don't like it this thick, then feel free to add some more water. But I don't mind. So we're just gonna cook these up for a couple minutes, well more than that, a few minutes on each side. And then we will flip and I will show you the finished product. So we've got our pancakes all done. This recipe makes about eight pancakes. And then of course I like to top it with my smoked date maple syrup. I love this stuff by Date Lady, it's so darn good. Look at that. And then I'll just top it with a few more blueberries. And that will be breakfast. So now the breakfast is done, I'm going to do a little prep work for later today and also for the rest of the week. So I'm going to be baking these potatoes. I've got some of the orange sweet potatoes, white sweet potatoes, russets, and Yukon Golds. I'm going to put these in the oven at 375 for about an hour. Some of these might get done sooner, so I'm going to be checking them like these smaller ones. I try to get potatoes that are about the same size but sometimes that's not always possible. You just want to make sure that you do poke holes in these so they don't explode. 
And the bigger ones, I'll put a couple of pokes in there. And what I'm gonna do is, um, the Yukon Golds and the Russets are usually for the week. I can make fries, I can bring them to lunch, and then um, I'm gonna have one of these sweet potatoes tonight for dinner. So I'm just gonna throw these in the oven and then I'm going to uh, do my next prep work. So I wanna have a little bit of tofu tonight and then I'll have some for the rest of the week as well. I really like this organic Wildwood extra firm tofu. I'll be putting it in my tofu press, which I just love this little gadget. Makes it so easy. You just put your tofu in here and then all the liquid is uh, retained in here. And I just will uh, keep this in the fridge during the day today and periodically go in and just drain the water out. And all you do is you just pick it up and pour it in the sink. So I'm gonna open this up and drain the water out of here. And then we're gonna put that inside our tofu press. So we'll just put this in the tofu press. So then you just press the top on here and then you just, has like these little bands and little holders to hold it in place. And it just presses all the moisture out. It's like the greatest thing ever. You don't have to put a pan on with a bunch of canned foods or bricks or towels or whatever. Just put it in this thing, stick it in the fridge, you're good to go. So for lunch, I'm gonna make a big, huge salad. And I've got some of these veggies in here. Like I said, I like to use things up if they're gonna be going bad. Um, this orange pepper has been in there for a while. I need to get rid of that. I got like a half a zucchini, some yellow squash. I'm gonna put some cucumber in there. Uh, if my cucumbers are not organic, I do peel them. Just, I feel like they're really heavily sprayed. Uh, then I'm gonna put some chickpeas in there and then I've got a whole bunch of spring mix I'm going to put in there so I'm going to shred up the carrot and the zucchinis and the squash and chop everything else up and put it in a big bowl and then we're going to have lunch or I'm going to have lunch so let's get started start over here with my zucchini Then we'll move over to the yellow squash. This is a great way to get all your veggies in. Lots of fiber, lots of nutrients. This is definitely a low calorie density meal, so you can eat a ton of this. And we'll move over to the carrot. And I just love all the colors. And I think it's really important that you eat a huge big salad at least once a day. Your body will thank you. We'll chop up our green pepper. And again, you can customize this to however you would like, whatever veggies. Sometimes I put mushrooms in here. It just depends on what I have in the fridge. I just really try to get a lot of colors. That way you know you're getting a lot of antioxidants and that is really important nowadays. And I got a little bit of a little bit of red onion here as well. Onion is very good. It's very anti-cancer food, so onion is great to always have in your salad. So now I've got my spring mix, and I like to use these little herb shears, and I cut cut it up real small. I do this for two reasons. One, you can fit more in the bowl. Two, it's just easier to eat when it's smaller pieces. So I'm gonna continue cutting up my lettuce here. So then you just start building your bowl here. You just put it in however you'd like. I've got some chickpeas. And then I'll just put all my veggies in here. Look at that, delicious. 
And yeah, this is a huge frickin' salad. And if I don't eat all of it, that's fine because I'll just save it and eat it for a snack or take it with me for lunch the next day. I made my 3-2-1 dressing. I actually uh, made a double batch here. I'll leave a link to this dressing down in the description box. But it is three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of mustard, and a tablespoon of maple syrup. I just put it in a jar and mix it up, give it a good shake, pour it on my salad, and this will last me quite a long time. You don't need a whole lot of dressing. If you put some dressing on and toss a salad really, really well and make sure everything is coated, you don't need as much as you think. So that's how I do it, and this will last me uh, quite a few days. So this is lunch, a nice, healthy salad. We've got our plant protein in there with the chickpeas, and all these gorgeous vegetables that is just gonna feed all our cells in our body. I'm gonna do a little bit more prep for the week. I'm gonna do um, a quick little mac and cheese. I've got my red lentil pasta, which I love. I'm going to cook this for about 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna show you how I put together this super quick mac and cheese that's great for lunches or dinner during the weeknight. So we drained our pasta. I don't know why I said 10 minutes, it's like seven minutes, anyway. So you put it back in the pot, do not rinse it. Then I'm gonna add some of my plant-based cheese. This is so easy, I love doing this. And add as much as you'd like, to me that's good. Then I like to add a little bit nutritional yeast. There already is some in the cheese sauce, but I like to add more. Then I add in tomatoes and olives, and two big handfuls of spinach. And then from the heat of the pasta, we'll just wilt this down. So just stir it till it wilts down, and then you're ready to serve. This will be great for me to take to work. It's great to have in the fridge. When I get home from work, I can just heat it up. And I'm always thinking, where can I put greens into my life, into my food? and throwing it into your pasta is an excellent way to do that. I'll just put a lid on and let that just wilt just from its own heat. So this is going to be dinner. The tofu that I was pressing today, I just made my glazed tofu. I will leave a link to that video below. Sweet potato is done, and I had some leftover green beans, a little bit of broccoli. So I'm just gonna add my plant-based cheese sauce over the potato and the green beans. A little cracked pepper. Dinner is served, how easy is that? We've got our greens, we've got some good plant protein and that delicious, yummy sweet potato. Just full of nutrients and so tasty as well. So that's what I ate today and I hope you got some ideas and I hope you give some of these recipes a try and I hope they help you on your plant-based journey to better health and I hope you learned a little bit about food prep, how I food prep for the week. And if you found this video helpful, please leave me a comment below and remember to subscribe, like, and share and don't forget to check out my Facebook group and I will leave all the recipes and links in the description box below. Remember, what you put on your plate determines your fate. Until next time, thank you. The Starch Solution is a program developed by Dr. Lilililum. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram on Shoot Lilum. And if you feel like you need a little bit more support, I have started a Facebook group, and we are Lilum. So without further ado, let's get on with Okay guys, that's it for me. Okay guys, that's it for me today. Oh my god. And I've got some great foods left over. They can't see it, so why do I say that? <laughs>